Hi there and welcome back. We're continuing our Christmas baking with these delicious mincemeat scones. These scones are a great alternative to mince pies and a different way to use up mincemeat. These are very easy to make and incredibly Moorish too. Let's make Christmas mincemeat scones. We're gonna start with self-raising flour. Pour it into a medium-sized bowl. Into this add the baking powder and give it a good mix to combine. Next up is the butter and I've got a great tip for you. I freeze my butter and I grate it into the mixture. If you freeze the butter it helps the scones to rise. Grate it all in and be careful, watch your fingers. Rub the butter into the flour until it resembles large breadcrumbs. This should take about a minute or two. Pour in the caster sugar and mix it in. The mincemeat is next and I'd recommend using a good quality mincemeat if you're buying one. If you want to make your own, I've got a lovely easy recipe for a homemade mincemeat on my channel. Why not check it out? Mix the mincemeat in until it's evenly combined. Now it's time to add the wet mixture. We're going to add an egg to the buttermilk and mix it in. Add the buttermilk to the dry ingredients, making sure to hold back a little so that we can brush some on the top of the scones before we put them in the oven. I always use a fork to bring the mixture together and then I just get my hands in there and bring the dough together. Now we're going to pop this on a floured work surface and knead it a little. It's important not to handle the dough too much as this leads to the scones being tough and chewy rather than light and flaky. Pat out with your hands until the dough is about 4cm thick. Cut out the scones using a 7cm round cutter and make sure to dip it in the flour. And place the scones on a warm baking tray. Brush the scones with the leftover buttermilk, making sure it doesn't drip down the sides, as this will affect the scones rising. Scatter flaked almonds on top and gently press them down to help them stick. I think they give the scones a really pretty look. These are ready for the oven. Bake for about 12 to 15 minutes until golden in colour. When baked, allow it to cool for a few minutes and then sieve on some icing sugar. These mincemeat scones would make a fab edible gift with some homemade brandy butter. A lovely touch at Christmas is to cut the scones out with some Christmas cutters if you have some. Just look at my lovely Christmas trees. I'm going to serve these with my homemade brandy butter and you'll find the recipe here on my channel if you want to make it. There's no better way to enjoy Christmas mincemeat scones than with brandy butter. I hope you're enjoying all my Christmas video tutorials. Stay tuned for lots more coming up over the next week. Thanks so much for watching. Happy baking everyone. Enjoy.